Meet Stretch Bannon, a Sunday comic strip Doug created about a race car driver and his young sidekick named Chip. Another strip he created was about a detective named Eddie Race. If these two wildy characters can be thanked for anything, it's for leaving their surnames behind for one of Doug's coolest creations. Doug Wildey said that the character of Race Bannon was fashioned after a popular tough guy actor of that time named Jeff Chandler. Start the probe arm. Negative, chum. If you think I'm letting you walk off with five years research, think again. You laugh at bullets, American? Not at bullets, at you. Who's going to operate the prober if you shoot me? Who mentioned shooting you? But your young friend here, that is a different matter. Now, would you reconsider your decision? Don't give in to him, Race. I have to, Johnny. Your dad expects me to take care of you. Can't let him down, can we? Race was voiced by actor Mike Rode, who looked so much like a real-life Race Bannon, all that was missing was his white hair. Mike was primarily a TV actor with a deep, velvet-smooth voice doing westerns and mostly guest shots on shows like Bewitched. Stevens, the charge is grand theft. And I intend to see that Franklin, or whoever he is, is prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Now watch as we apply that same voice to a shot of Race Bannon from an episode of Quest. Stevens, the charge is grand theft. And I intend to see that Franklin, or whoever he is, is prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Doug Wildey said he chose Mike Rode from a large number of actors because Rode had a Clark Gable-like delivery, a sardonic, dry wit approach to lines that Doug wanted for Johnny Quest's toughest character. Doug liked to give an example of trying to get everyone on board with who Race Bannon was by rewriting lines for him. In the pilot, when the script called for Johnny to be threatened by several lizard men, the written line for Race was, Hang on, Johnny. Doug rewrote it in the style that is pure Race Bannon. Hang on, kid. Cavalry to the rescue. These kinds of lines, and Race himself, who had his birth in the classic comic books and strips of Wildy's childhood, came to full fruition in the voice of Race Bannon, the sardonic wit of a man who cracked wise in the face of danger. What is that? Oh, that. That's the oven timer. The cake's all baked. He thinks to make fools of us, Colonel. Negative again, Bob. Nature beat me to it. Mike Rhodes' voice came out of quite a few Johnny Quest supporting cast. Mike did what were called multiples for various episodes. That's when one actor who is being paid for an eight-hour day and gets his half-hour episode recorded in an hour is then used to play other parts that also need voicing. Here is a random sampling of Mike's not-so-disguised Bannon-like tones doing other characters on the show. I'm sorry, sir. They're just too fast for us. Hey, I have trapped one of them. That's the quest group. They're all waving. Everything must be okay. I'm trying, Ivar. I'm trying. But I must get the key to the laboratory when the professor isn't there. And he's expecting a visitor. An American scientist, a Dr. Quest. Here he is, sir. Odd looking fish, isn't he? Captain, I have a UFO that comes and goes. Wait. Oh! Are we far from my father, White Feather? Pretty far. When Grey One come, we leave. Go fast. Boy with hair like snow and with red stone in head. Must run like warrior. Doug Wildey claims to have done most of the voice casting for Johnny Quest. And if this is true, this is another area where he truly excelled in the creation of Johnny and his adventures. For a government agent with a license to kill, Race also had his foot firmly in the salesmanship of the Johnny Quest show. When was the last time you heard your government bodyguard say something like, Johnny Quest, brought to you by 
New Lysol spray, the disinfectant spray that eliminates household germs and odors instantly. New Lysol spray. Many talents and circumstances shape any collaborative work of art, whether it's a commercial work or not. For instance, Screen Gems, which was coming in as partners and financiers on Quest, sent their man in, pushing to make the show more about Race Bannon, though they didn't like the name Bannon and thought his last name should be Chase. Doug Wildey, not known for his soft-spoken diplomacy, vehemently and boisterously rejected all these ideas. And the man in the suit, who wanted the show to be called Race Chase, Doug never heard from again. 